Well, Howard and Brenda Clark are dealing with a downright disgusting problem. Three times in as many weeks, they found a possum in their house. Wednesday night was the last straw when a possum attacked Howard as he lay in bed. New Center 16's Robert Borelli is hot on the trail of the furry rodents. But she's a good one. After waiting up late Wednesday night trying to capture the possum, Howard Clark went to bed. He thought his dog Princess was nibbling at him, but it wasn't Princess. Oh, uh oh, and before I could even get it out of bed, it snapped my ear. The possum also sunk its teeth into Howard's neck. That one got away, the third possum to visit the Clarks. Three weeks ago, Howard found the first one near his water heater. I heard something hissing at me. Going, <laughs> oh, whoa. When I... He captured that possum and set it free in the woods, but the next one didn't get away. I hate to have to kill an animal like this, but either him or me. I don't feel like being munched on anymore. But the onslaught of wild animals was not over. In fact, just this morning, Howard's wife found another visitor in her underwear drawer. And I open up my top dresser drawer and I have another possum in there. I am afraid to stay in the trailer because of the possums. Their possum problems may persist. It's possible that there could be an entire family of possums underneath the Clark's mobile home. I might have a whole population here. The DNR told Howard the critter he captured was pregnant, and as many as 30 of the furry critters could be calling his home their home, living in his subfloor. Baited traps haven't worked. My husband is now trying another technique of uh, smoking them out. Last night, Howard hooked up the exhaust of his lawn tractor to the underside of his trailer, filling his home with fumes. I just didn't want anybody else to get bit. Still searching for the elusive possums in LaPorte County, I'm Robert Borelli, New Center 16. Well, Howard hopes the possum that bit him didn't have rabies. Tests are being done on the animal to find out. Meanwhile, the Clarks continue to do battle with their uninvited guests. Boy, I think that beats the snake those folks had in their house last year. I'd be careful with that exhaust, though. Yeah, right? very careful. Well,